Navigating the ins and outs of a corn maze is just the beginning. Let's go back out live to News 13's Victoria Dunkel at the Elida Homes Corn Maze. And Victoria, what else can folks enjoy there? Well, you know, there is a lot of fun to be had. You can hang out with our buddy here, Spook Lee. Of course, he's the square pumpkin. Elida is all about reminding folks that, you know, it's okay to be different. They embrace the differences. And there is the incredible maze, and that really does draw a lot of people here. We've seen that over the last two years. This is the third year for the maze, and it is a lot of fun, and, and people have really shown up and had a great time. But the big thing to remember is if you don't want to trek through four miles of hiking and through that 12-acre maze, there are a few other things Amber Toy and the great mm -hmm. team here has put together for us, including, well, we get to dress our own scarecrow. This looks like fun. That's right. Uh, it's a chance to for, for little ones to stick their face in, take some pictures, yeah. um, be silly. We also have a concession stand. Um, we have a hayride, yeah. a cow train, a big corn box. So there's lots of things to do. And the corn box is actually mm -hmm. a big old sandbox that you filled with? With corn kernels. Corn kernels. So bags and just... bags and bags. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been hefting bags yes. and bags and bags of corn. <laughs> What's the other thing that we were talking about? Oh, corn cannons. That was pretty popular, huh? Yeah, we sure do. Uh, it's similar to a potato launcher. But basically, we have big potato men in the field, uh -huh. and you just use your corn cannon, and you try to knock them out. Very cool. Yeah. And the fun is uh, every weekend in September and October, what time do things start? Friday, 4 to 9, Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sunday, 11 to 8. And what you do is you just come right out here to a lot of homes, and you buy your tickets right here at the door, right at this little welcome center, and then you head out that way and start making your way for all the fun. It really is very family-friendly, and they even have the maze broken down into three different trails that you you can do, including one that's only like three tenths of a mile, and that one's easy peasy for the younger kids and us older kids who may not want to hike, you know, four miles of the rest of the minute. <laughs> it's great fun for everyone. And coming up in our next half hour, we're going to talk about a few other things to keep in mind when you're heading into the maze for lots of fun. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. A four miles of trails wind through a cornfield in the mountains. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at Elida Homes Corn Maze, and they are ready to help us test our navigating skills, aren't they, Vic? Absolutely, and I don't know about you, Holly, but um, I definitely need a little help with that, especially with the maze. It's very confusing. But Spookly here is the uh, unofficial spokesperson for the maze this year. He is the square pumpkin. He is new this year, but also so is the shape of the maze. They change it up every year, and we're talking to Amber Toy about what the maze looks like. This is an aerial shot of it, and this really does test your skills of being able to figure out which direction you're going. Um, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, you have some tips for us to get through this well. What are some of the things we need to keep in mind? Stay on the path, mm -hmm. take your map, definitely comfortable shoes and clothing, and stick with a friend and try to find all your points. You also said something, we should maybe take a bottle of water with us. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. how long does it take us? Say, say we're going to do the full maze here, because it's broken down into three different trails. Mm -hmm. Say we're going to do the bulk of it here, go up through and do the Elida and the motorcycle rider and everything. How long should we expect that to take us? About two hours. Really? It is a full, uh, full time of fun. Yeah, sure. that's going to be a great afternoon or morning of mm -hmm. fun. Also, if we go down a little bit lower here, this is the shortened version. Mm -hmm. It's like not even, it's what, three tenths of a mile or that's something? That's correct. That's a great one if you have younger kids or you can't hike all this distance. What is it people tell you when they come out of the maze, when they've done it? Yay! That they didn't get lost and they're excited and that they had a good time. Uh, and then they start to uh, do some of the other activities. So. Which includes a whole sandbox full of corn kernels instead of sand. That's right. Uh, what else do we have? We have a hayride, uh -huh. a cow train, corn cannons, and then we have a small hay bale maze uh, for the little kids as well. And there's going to be food too because they have a concession stand. You can't beat it. This is a great way to have some family fun and get out here with your friends on the weekends through September and October. You can get your tickets when you just arrive here at Elida Homes. It's so much fun. So come out and check it out. Meet Spookly. Tell Amber that uh, they did a great job designing this. It's a good time here in Asheville reporting live. Victoria Dunkel, News 13.